and it says we're live. It's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. It's time for Got Back Goes Live. That sound that you may have heard there in the very beginning as we kind of get things settled away here was Starscream Wife, who was actually getting, um, and I'm going to try and bear with me here, but guys, I'm going to try and adjust things a little bit here. Um, it was Starscream Wife getting uh, a bag of chips open. So, it, you know, it is what it is, right? I'm going to bring this down a bit. I don't know. I don't, is this, mm, I feel like, I feel like I got things messed up here tonight. I'm not sure how it happened. And it's making for a rough start to the show here, man. Pardon me, guys. There. Are we good? I think we're good. We're going to call it good. Anyway, we have a few things to cover tonight. Of course, I'm going to get to you guys in just a moment, but we have a few things to cover tonight. We have a ton of news coming out of PulseCon. We're going to talk about Devastators, because there's actually a few of them worth talking about. We're going to do an unexpected unboxing, thanks to both Andy B. Games, friend of the channel. He's been here on the show, and Crimson Raptors. And... Yeah, I think that'll I think that'll kind of I think that'll kind of fill things up. Of course we have trivia coming up. We have, you know, we have things to have some fun with. I do see you guys in there saying hello and whatnot. Bear with me. You know that I gotta get things out. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. You know I always hope you have a fantastic week. We're heading into the weekend. Tomorrow we have the top ten of the most unintelligent, the dumbest, if you will, Transformers. Oh, we have a piece of news about Scorponok as well. That might be troubling to a few people, but we will see. Not the least of which, one of the things that we will talk about in the news when we get to it there now will be uh, the DNA upgrade kit as well. <sighs> Bear with me here because it's been a long, very, very, very humid like the humidity has to be like a billion percent here. Uh, it's been, <laughs> been a rough day, man. Um, it's been a good day, but it's been a rough day weather wise. Just trying to get settled away here. Hey, Waluigi, Jillian, happy to see you. Uh, I'm just getting things ready here. Bear with me just a little bit, guys. Um, Hey, Mattia, uh, it's past 5.58 p.m. It should start now. I said it was 6 p.m., man. So it shouldn't start now. No, 6 p.m. Uh, let's see, hoping to watch for a quick nap before work. Well, you know what? Dude, don't work too hard. No, you're not late. You are not late, bread. Uh, hey, Adamantia Matrix. John, happy to see you here. Maximal 10, happy to see you here. You too, Mike, of course. Uh, let's see as we go down here. Uh, waiting for the Galactic Odyssey one pack so I can decide to paint the Siege Ratchet to look like his comic appearance. You could do that. There's no reason why I couldn't do that. Why not? Uh, hey, Geek Man. Uh, You're excited for this live video? Well, Mattia, I'm glad that you are here. I, I don't think you've been in here before, but you know what? A special hello to you. Uh, hey, good 7, bad 13. Happy to see you here, man. Kingdom Warpath has been released recently. No, he hasn't been released. Kingdom Warpath has not been released. Nope. Nope, that's incorrect, Brad. He is not released, not even close. January is when he's slated for release. Anybody who has him has a stolen theft copy. We're not even going to talk about it. It makes me sick to my stomach. You guys already know this. Uh, I got both uh, the DNA designs. Oh, man, this is jumping all over the place tonight. Uh, the DNA designs, 19 and 21 upgrade for Scorponok pre-ordered. Uh, I think a lot of people will, and there's a lot of goodness there. I don't think I'm going to go for it, and I'll explain why, but there is a lot of goodness. So, Adam Anti-Matrix, I cannot blame you, and I like DNA Designs. I think that they make a great product, so I think you are doing well to do that, but I, I, I can't. I, I We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I just can't. Um, not because I don't want to, though. Uh, hey, Gabriel, did you see the review of Studio Series 86 Scourge? I can guarantee you I didn't. I would never in a million years watch anything from the guy who done that review. Let's. We're not even going to talk about that. I don't respect that person. I don't respect thieves. We have to stop about it. No, I'll never watch that 
the two people that everyone knows gets these things months and months and months ahead of time. I'm not even going to talk about them. I'm not giving them attention. I don't give thieves attention. Simple as that. So no. Hey, Sam. Uh, Crimson, happy to see you. Um, Como esta means how are you in Spanish. I, I, I know that. I don't know if anybody was questioning that. Um, fish strength of fitness. Uh, Earthride Blue Streak is on the way. That's fantastic. I, I have no idea how that guy's getting released, but good for you, man. Uh, hey, Roy. Um, glad that you're here. I'm glad, you know what, if you're a longtime fan, then I'm glad that you came in here. I appreciate you coming by and having some fun with us on a Thursday night. Um, hey, Inu Tabi, happy to see you here. Look, the stars are coming out tonight, man. Uh, both kits are 90 US, which is two thirds cost of the figure. Yeah, 90 US, man, is, is that's expensive. Uh, but that's not the reason that I'm not really getting it. But we'll talk about it. Maybe one day I will, but it's it's not on the radar right now, and I'll explain why when we get there. Just got the studio series Blitzwing last week because I couldn't find I haven't seen any of the new Voyagers, though we are finally caught up on the deluxes for studio series. Um getting Kingdom Optimus Primal Megatron. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna do that. Hey, Ben Progenitor, uh semi sorta here. That's cool, man. Okay, so first things first, I'm your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Got As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you're at it, light them up, baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, the Autobot Family, Transformers versus G.I. Joe versus DC Universe versus Marvel, and... All of my social media links, all of that's down in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button and become a channel member right here on YouTube. And that brings me to the very first thing I want to do. I want to give two shout-outs to two new channel members, Alan Nix and Brian Turner. Thanks for jumping on board, becoming part of the team, lads. I appreciate it. We have our trivia coming up in a bit. I'm going to go through, I think, the news first, because that's going to be the thing that's going to be kind of most interesting here. I'm just going to check in with you guys here. But we have a, a lot to kind of talk about there. Uh, Inutabi pre-ordered those kits as well. Um... Let's see. Fun little aside, I've given my Earthrise Wheeljack the Forge of Souls Prime from Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus. Interesting. Why did you give it to Wheeljack? I mean, do what you want. I'm just curious. Why we? Oh, I can understand Wheeljack. I'm just curious what you're thinking is. Uh, if you hear, if you hear uh, Starscream wife laughing in the background, she's watching a show with headphones on, so she may laugh time to time. Uh, as we go down here. Um, Hey, cassette player. That's what I'm going to call you, cassette player. I have a question. What do you want to see from Kingdom? I don't, I, here's the thing. People ask me, like, what do I want? I don't, I, nothing. I don't, like, I, here's the thing. I have no expectations. Uh, if I really had to be pressed for something, throttle bots, omnibots, predators. I'd like to see throttle bots, omnibots, omnibots, predators. And I'd like to see a transformable version of the Action Master Rad. But that's about it. Like, the things that I want now are kind of really out there. I don't want any more Scourges or Cyclonuses or even though we're getting those, so they're already announced. But, like, I don't need any more after that. An Optimus Prime, I got the Earthrise. I don't need any more Optimus Primes. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. So right now, kind of what I would want, if anything, would be the more kind of fringe characters that not a lot of people care about or even know about because they're the ones that we're missing. That's where I'm to with it. Uh, all our Walmart has got for new stuff is a blaster reissue so disappoint we haven't gotten any reissues since the cabless optimus and we didn't get any of the cassettes or any of that stuff we didn't get deficit we got none of that stuff it doesn't sell here it it shell formed it got marked down to like nine bucks uh, after a year with dust on it. it doesn't sell um any thoughts on Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trilogy trailer? Yes, we're going to talk about that as we go down through the news here. Uh, missed out on the Gigawatt pre-order today, Darren. Not even interested. I don't even think it looks that great, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm sorry that you missed out on it if you were in for it. That Maverick. Oh, yeesh. We saw more pictures of that. That thing looks awful, man. Uh, let's sign a petition. Make a, what? D-O-P-F movie. What? Marvel Legends Wolverine. 
I don't even know what he's talking about. I have no idea, but uh, he signed his petition if he does a petition. What if Hasbro made a Transformers and Predator crossover? Eh. I'm not a crossover guy. Eh. 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 Yeah, the DNA design Predator King, uh, Predator King kit is amazing. Adamantium Matrix. I agree with you, buddy. Uh, train bots, Turbo Masters too. Yeah, Train bots would be okay. I'd be down with Train bots. Uh, what do you think of the Haslab Unicron? Uh, would not support that in a billion years, Roy. Not in a billion years. I would never ever crowdfund a multi-billion-dollar company. I don't think it looks good. It's not accurate. It has a ton of kibble, and I mean a square metric ton nothing about it impresses me from beginning to end i've harped on it for a long time it's happening so anybody who is in for it like congratulations i get I guess but i don't i have less than zero interest i don't care about it i don't feel bad that i don't have it i don't want something that's going to be an hour to transform i don't want something that, that that's that big and obnoxious i have nowhere to put it um i don't like it I don't like, but to be fair, I don't like HasLab as a concept. I do not agree with a multi-billion dollar company. Crowdfunding, that's ridiculous. That's ass nine. So I, I, I'm not in for it, man. That's all I can say. I uh, pre-ordered the Prime 2-pack breakdown and Jet Beacon. Yeah, I think a lot of people that are fans of Transformers Prime will get that. And the Hades Megatron, which I think looks amazing. And they all come with their arms, Micron. Here's the thing. A few people have complained and said, give us updated versions. Look. For years now, people have said, we want those Japanese versions. You're getting those Japanese versions. And you still have people complaining? That breakdown is a fantastic mold. The Viacon mold, I've never owned it, but it, it has a reputation for being a fantastic mold. The Megatron is a fantastic mold. The Arms Microns are great bonuses. I'd be happy. I think all of those reveals are fantastic. Not to mention, with Red, we have RC... And uh, Knockout is going to be coming. We haven't seen Knockout, but we've seen RC. She looks splendid. Then we also get the Cheetor for the red line. And I've been saying all along that the Deluxe Kingdom Cheetor is sorely missing paint. By the way, I'm sad to report that the Deluxes are going up here again. A couple of pre-orders that are up have them at $32.99 for Deluxe. That is now officially three times the price of a deluxe that has gone up now in eight years. It's gone up three times the cost. No. Uh, you're going to see Kingdom suffer because of this price increase. I can guarantee you because Earthrise, um, I can't say Earthrise so much has suffered because th there's nothing on the shelves. We haven't had anything since February, really. So it is what it is. But like Earthrise doesn't sell out. Siege doesn't sell out. It's easy to get that stuff. Um, Kingdom is going to be even worse because it's, it's way over its price. Like they were pushing it when a deluxe was $19.99 and now they're looking at $32.99 for a deluxe. And like that Cheetor sorely needs paint. You know how I know? Look at the red Cheetor. That thing is painted accurately, 100% accurate to the animation. The blue is darker. We have the gold color on it. Uh, it's not just the sea of yellow. So eh, eh, it is what it is, right? Days of Future Past, Wolverine, Got Bot. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what Days of Future Past, Wolverine is. That doesn't help me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I like the Wolverine in his yellow and blue outfit. Boom. That's it. Any other one, I don't like. Um, hope they made... Even when I collected comics, though, I was never a huge X-Men fan. Like, if they crossed over with Spider-Man, cool. But otherwise, I didn't really follow X-Men. wasn't my thing. Um, I've never seen any of the movies. Hope they make Transformers Earthrise Blaster with his Minicons. Uh, he doesn't have Minicons. He has mini cassettes. Minicons are a Unicron trilogy thing. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm cool with my FOC Blaster. I don't need a new one. But if they're going to do a new one, I think reusing the uh, Netflix uh, Soundwave mold is the way to go. I don't a custom one. A lot of people seem to like that. So it's certainly doable. Um... You've been, uh, my kit was in great shape, but you're right. Some had severe defects. I heard that some had severe defects, but it looks beautiful if you could avoid the defects. Uh, I think they're only doing that for Kingdom. Uh, well, the Kingdom Deluxes are going to suffer at least. Yeah, well, they're doing it for the Deluxe size class, right? Everything is going up, uh, but people's incomes. Here's the thing. Other things do not typically go up three times the cost 
within a decade. That does not happen. Um, it's pure greed. It's 100% greed. Like, there is no justification for it. There's no, like, oh, look at all these paint apps. Look at all this extra engineering. <laughs> it's none of that. It's greed. It's greed. They have reached a point where they, uh, you know, every year they got to give Warden and they got to give Goldner those great big raises. And now Warden is even moving over, I think, Power Rangers. And, uh, you know, honestly, what you got to do is get those guys to retire and have guys who are coming into the company starting at the low end of the salary scale. Boom. Cut out some of the middle managers. Like, it's time to stop raising prices. Cut out middle managers. Get your customer service in line. Uh, cut out the huge bonuses and the huge incomes because I can guarantee you that nobody there is worth it. You're a toy company. You know, like, slow your roll, guys. I'm just saying, right? Slow your roll. Know, know what it is that you're offering the world. Uh, I've seen something about Transformers movie um, combining G.I. Joe and Mask, and all I can think is... If true, I have not seen anything about that. Definitely nothing official. Um, but it'd be cool if they could bring it all together as like, you know, try and do like an MCU type of thing. I don't know how well it would work. I mean, DC tried it. And now they're going with a whole different thing where they're doing their whole multiverse where everything is existing simultaneously in their multiverse, which is cool. It's a way to flip it and bring all of the films they've done together if they can do it successfully. It's a nice idea. I wish the Megatron was the Predacons Rising version. That would be cool. Which which Megatron was the Predacons Rising version? Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, that would be cool, Jillian. I absolutely agree. Um, let's see as we go down here a little bit. Um, both good and bad KOs just for good got bot. Ha! I'm going to be out uh, on Kingdom unless I can get um, Megatron Primal for a good price. Going back to G1 Restoration. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they're going to be out on Kingdom. A, it's Beast Wars. B, it's severely overpriced. That's unfortunate. I think that they are shooting themselves in the foot doubly here. They're taking a risk by moving out of G1, which has always been their bread and butter. And in doing so, they're also upping the price to really an idiotic amount for a deluxe. I'm sorry, but almost $40 for Deluxe here in Canada is idiotic. That's not even reasonable. There's no justification for it. I'll get the stuff when it's on sale, but I, I can guarantee you I'm not going to be the dude to have that stuff first. Absolutely not, because it's not worth it. Um, and I'd say the U.S. is closely catching up, because a lot of people are really discouraged with that like $23 price tag. I might have to avoid the deluxes for Kingdom. A lot of people are. Um, hey, Razor Matrix. Uh, you didn't miss much yet. Me complaining, mostly. Uh, <laughs> my pizza's missing. That's no good. Nobody wants your pizza missing, man. Hope you find it. Okay, so we're going to go through the news. Uh, some interesting things here. Some weird things here. First things first. It seems that a lot of fans' toys media has been deleted. And a lot of posts on some of their, uh, like, Weibo and stuff... Go back as far as 2013, and that's the most recent post. And even their Facebook, the most recent post is 2017. Rumor is they are being uh, pressured, I guess, by Hasbro. Uh, I don't know how much truth is to this, but rumor is that they are and Unique Toys are uh, really being pressured. Like a lot of retailers are being told, if you have Unique Toys and Fans Toys, you're not going to have uh, Hasbro. Is there any truth to it? That's pure rumor and speculation. Do not leave here and say, well, Gotbot said. Uh, I'm telling you what I've heard. I don't know if there's any truth to it, but it is peculiar that they have been deleting a lot of their posts on social media, whatever that means. Uh, we also uh, have, let's see, from Prime One Studios, we saw their Dark of the Moon Megatron statue. Looks fantastic. It stands 79 centimeters, apparently, or about 31 inches. So it's a big boy, real big boy. Uh, he has a cape. He has LED eyes. He has Igor and a bunch of other things. There's a G1 Megatron water gun. What a noise she's making. I love my wife, but she's a noisy lady sometimes. Uh, we have a G1 Megatron that's a water gun from Daikai Kug Kugyu. I, I, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I don't even know where the company is. But it is being touted as like a hyper-accurate Walther P38. That's a water pistol. 
Um, I good luck trying to import it if that's what you want. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting one. If you haven't seen the pictures, it's definitely interesting. It looks cool. The Combiner Wars Titan Class Devastator, as of apparently January 2021, is getting a reissue as an Amazon exclusive. Amazon Australia is going to have 300 units, but apparently it will be an Amazon exclusive worldwide, limited quantity, limited sales. Some people have said it's too bad it's not the Takara one. Maybe. But this is your chance to get it. If you missed it, I'm sure it's going to be more expensive than what I paid for. I'm going to tell you now, when I got the Titan Class, Titan Class Devastator from Toys R Us, regular retail, I pre-ordered it for $119.99. That's what I paid for it. Let's see, let's see what the new one is. $119.99 Canadian, by the way. Let's see what the new one is. I bet you it won't be 119 Canadian. Uh, that being said, if you get it, do yourself a favor. At least get the PC-07 kit and give the guys the proper blasters and elbows. I reviewed, wasn't the greatest review, very early on. If you go back and you look at the True Review playlist and you go down to probably the 20s, like you go way down the list, man, very early on, I do all of the Constructor Cons as well as Devastator, as well as the PC-07 kit. All of it was covered. I love the set. A lot of people have said that they are sad that they missed it. I think it's a great set. A lot of people don't. It's up to you. But it's being reissued. So, like, it is what it is, man. Um, Razor Bear, man, you don't need to worry about being late, brother. You really don't. You are, you are a scholar, a gentleman, and a hero of the channel. You are... Never late. Uh, what else do we have here? And we saw more images of MP Tigertron. Looks fantastic. The back legs are a little janky, but he does look fantastic. MPM Ratchet is out at U.S. retail. So those of you in the U.S., congratulations. Uh, Gigawatt, we know that the pre-order went up. If you wanted it, cool. I'm not in for it. I'm not sold on that mold. And I have it, like, I have it for G2 Sideswipe. I'm going to have it for Tiger Track, assuming he ever comes in. That's enough. I'm not sold on it. The DeLorean is cool. On Gigawatt, the doors, instead of folding in like they do inside, so if they go on the back, he looks a little wider to me. Uh, it's cool if you like crossovers. It's not for me. It's really, really not for me, especially with everything coming out. Like, that's the thing. I find myself now having to pick and choose, even with Hasbro stuff, because it's too much too soon. You know, sometimes people ask me if I'm getting this or that, if I'm interested in this or that. Sometimes I can't even think about it. Like, I cannot think about Kingdom. I cannot pre-order all the stuff for Kingdom because I have a bajillion pre-orders as it is. And I don't even pre-order. But that's the way this year is. And, like, I have no idea what's coming when. It seems like it's all just haphazard. It's too much for me to keep track of, man. So that's the main reason why I didn't get the DNA sets. I think they're great for Scorponok. I can't afford them. I'm not going to lie. I just can't. With everything else that's pre-ordered and whatnot, it's just it's too much right now. If it's there... After all of this has passed and maybe we get back to like a normal, sensible schedule of stuff for releasing, maybe, maybe I'll get them then. But I could also see it being sold out by then. Uh, do I think that they're great? Like Adamantium Matrix has them pre-ordered. Do I think that they're great? Absolutely. I think it's tremendous having the other shoulder cannons. The ankle fillers are nice. His big orange blaster is beautiful. I don't need the face shield thing. But like if you have pre-ordered... I. I can't say that you're doing anything wrong at all. I think it's tremendous. I like DNA Designs. I have uh, their set on my Power of the Primes, Optim Optimal Optimus. Love it. Um, but <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but I, I can't be in for it now because there's just too much going on. It's really as simple as that. Uh, as we go down here, Master Maid showed off their super deformed G1 style. I would say more like Studio Ox style. Devastator. And it's all six members. They do robot, they do vehicle, and they do combined mode with super hyper articulation. It scales so well with their uh, super deformed Omega Supreme. The individual constructor cons are about the size of their uh, Megatron. If you're in for that, it's great. I want to give a correction to something I said last week. Last week, I said to you guys that... Um, I thought that Rampage was in the box set for the Studio Series Devastator. No, it is Skipjack who is in the box set. Rampage is a separate one. So if you don't care about Rampage or you already have Rampage, everybody else is in that box set. 
as expensive as it is. I think it's four ninety nine US. Um, so I wanted to correct that. So see a whole bunch. Of, there was three devastators we just talked about. I'm going to check in with you guys because I know I've missed a lot. And uh, then we are going to go on here with some of the news. And I know I missed a lot, and I apologize for that, guys. Uh, as we go up here, um, I'm still getting Kingdom Cyclonus, Primal Megatron. I do have Cyclonus and Megatron pre-ordered. I'll tell you that. Uh, I do have both of them pre-ordered with no money down, thankfully. But I do have Cyclonus and Megatron pre-ordered. For some reason, I thought Cyclonus was a leader, so I'm glad that he's not. Uh, hey, Razor Matrix, uh, you didn't miss much. Let's see. Um, I'm happy to see some Prime love. I, You know what, cassette player? I agree with you. It's nice to see Prime starting to get some love. I, it really is. Um, let's see. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm doing great, Runus. I, I mean, busy week again, as always, man. Always busy. Uh, but you know what? I'm doing great. Let's see. With the second War for uh, Galaxy Odyssey Amazon exclusive being skipped, what do you think it is? <sighs> you know, it's really interesting. Let's talk about that now. First things first. The third one for Biosphera is these two lads. I got both my... Now, mine also have some toy hacks on them. Uh, I think I looked at the toy hacks on them. I want to say in episode 700. If I'm not mistaken. I love both of these guys. I looked at Fast Clash or Fast Lane when I looked at the box set in the 200s. And I looked at him and wing, uh, yeah, Wingspan when I bought the previous box set with uh, Cloud Raker and Wingspan in it. I am glad that the Gal uh, Galactic Odyssey that's coming out is really this paint scheme. It's the North American one. I think this is infinitely better than the pink that was on the Japanese version. But that's just me. To each their own. If you did not get these, get them. Do yourself a favor. Get the Decepticon ones. If you didn't do it, they're great. Get these. They're great. They really are. I would say out of all four, I would say Cloud Raker is the most involved transformation. Maybe the most interesting to me. Uh, love these guys. I'm so, so happy to see them out. I'm also happy I have them so I can actually save a few bucks because I don't need to double dip on them. Um, what do I think the missing one could be? I honestly have no earthly idea. I would think maybe something Beast Wars that they're not ready to show yet. I could see it being something like that. Or, or if it's supposed to be just the ARC crew... Uh, on their Galactic Odyssey and who they could meet. I don't know. Maybe some more Junkions? Possibly? Could be? I'd be in for that. Um, let's see. No, you did not miss the trivia yet. We're going to do that after the news. Uh, I was out on about half of Earthrise, but I'm all in on Kingdom. That's fair, Crimson Raptors. Uh, no army building for... Look, I'm going to tell you something about Kingdom now. First things first. I have, as you guys know, a Quintesson Judge. I have a second Quintesson Judge. I was going to get a third. I'm not. I actually got two more that I got for other people. And I actually got uh, a copy of the Seeker 2 pack for a buddy that lives about eight hours away and is not going to be able to get to Toys R Us to get it. So I picked it up because we're actually going there like next week to uh, to have a little, a little day trip, say. And um, uh, when we come... Back from, or when we go out there, I'm going to bring it out to him. So I'm trying to help some other collectors. Here's the thing. My third member is actually going to be thanks to Input because he and I worked it out, and I am very happy to say I'm getting the pit of judgment. Yay, I'm going to have Kranix, I'm going to have the Prosecutor, and the Bailiff. Yes, surprisingly, I may have the Bailiff before I ever get an Alley Con. So that'll be interesting. But my third Quintesson is going to be the judge that is in that pack. Stylized transform arch, stylized paint job, and all. I have my three. So if I see any more now, I'm going to try and help other collectors to get them. i done the same thing in Titan's Return. I bought three Shark Tacons, and anytime I saw any after that, I posted to some local groups. Uh, guys, if you're looking, sometimes I even picked it up and said, hey, you can just give me the money after, because I know how hard it was to get it. I like things that you can army build. But I like to keep it within reason because I know everybody would like to be able to enjoy it. The alley cons, when they come, I'll get three. I'll call it good. You know, I'll call it good from there. I, I, when I see people that have like, I have 27. Why? Why do you need 27? All you're doing is being greedy and depriving other people. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me to each their own. But like, I don't 
I don't want to collect at the expense of other people. It's as simple as that. I want to, I want us, we're a community of fans, man. I want us all to be able to enjoy it. Uh, hey, Jim D. Howe. <sighs> wherever they call me, Jim D. Howe, wherever they call me, man, all over the place. Um, oh, man, a certain skull face is not going to be happy if I never, as soon as I saw that. They were having a lot of their social media uh, posts get deleted. I immediately thought about Bobby. Absolutely thought about him first. I don't know if there's anything to it, but it's interesting speculation. Um, let's see. No, the trivia is not about the most expensive Transformer. You have a good day too, Gabriel. Uh the reveals this past weekend were, well, amazing is a strong word. Like, they were okay. I wouldn't say amazing. They were all right. Some better than others. We'll talk. Actually, you know what? For uh, patrons and for channel members, i done a discussion about Pulse kind of the reveals. And I mean, i done everything from Star Wars, which I, I know nothing about, to Power Rangers, to um, uh, Ghostbusters, and, of course, Transformers and G.I. Joe. I wouldn't say everything we saw was amazing. A lot of it was good. Some of it was head scratching and a bit weird. And some of it was eh. Um, and some of it was like, why? I don't I don't really know why. Um, but I'm hopeful of some things. We'll get to it. I, I'm not easily impressed. You guys know I'm not easily impressed, man. Uh, let's see. I do like the 10th anniversary. Uh, we're like early Christmas. Man, you're way easy, more, more easily impressed than me. Way more easily impressed. Yeah, water gun. Um... Let's see as we go down here. Um, go down here. I, I am skipping over some stuff, guys. I apologize for that. MP Tigertron's ankles have broken off for some. I didn't even know anyone had it yet. That's sad. But I'm not surprised because MP is junk. There, I said it. When was the last time there was an MP offering that, I mean, let's be realistic. It costs hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. When was the last time there was an MP offering that did not break? I don't remember it. I really don't remember it. Like, if I was an MP collector, I would be so fragile with them. And I assume MP collectors are because they're a different type of collector. But for me, I don't get it. To each their own, but I don't get it. Uh, I'm so excited for Red RC. A lot of people are excited for that RED RC, and so am I. Um, Hasbro Constructicons, it's a good set. I got the Takara set with elbows, and uh, yeah, I have, I mean, my Devastator is uh, Razor Bear, same thing. My Devastator is the Combiner Wars one, but I actually, Starscream Wife got me the PC07. Uh, so, like, my scrapper does have his proper elbows. My, who else? My long haul, he can bend his arm forward, you know? I didn't find that I needed the ones for, really, for the other two lads being Mixmaster and Bone Crusher, I think it was. No, Mixmaster and Hook. I didn't need to uh, change out their arms. They were fine as it was. And I was glad that they all got their blasters. So... I get it. Like, if you can get the Takara, great. If you can't, then get the Combiner Wars and get the PC-07. Simple as that. Um, let's see. Can someone please tell me when the next Transformers Toy, for, toy Fair is this year? Huh, there isn't going to be one. Uh, stuff for 2021 is already being talked about as being de delayed or online or whatever. I don't expect that we're going to have any sort of like in-person thing anytime. So I predict it'll be at least 2022 before that happens because you have to have a vaccine. It has to be tested and it has to get out and it has to be given to everyone, everybody, the entire general public. Until that happens, world ain't going to get back to normal, Jillian. I hate to say it. Uh, Amazon just sent me a shipping notification for Earthrise RC. Looking forward to getting her. She has a big backpack, but she is a beaut. Yeah, see, I pre-ordered so much recently. I'm looking forward to that RC. Um, hey, Sushi. Gigawatts were on Amazon for pre-order shortly, but who knows if they'll be honored. That's true. This is Amazon, after all. I don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed something there. 
Oh boy. Holy Moses. I missed a whole bunch. And look at the stars coming in here. Oh, I missed Kato and I missed Deluxe coming in here. Holy Moses. What is going on in my life, man? Um. Hey, look at Dragonfly to the hunt, baby. Super Chat Super Fan, along with, of course, Razor Bear, our, one of our Super Chat Super Fans. Um, I don't care about how accurate they are if they don't transform hard pass. No, accuracy matters. If they're not accurate, then I need to paint them. And if I have to pay almost 40 bucks for Deluxe and then paint it myself to be right, that's ridiculous. You should have just done it right to begin with. Uh, that really bothers me. Really bothers me. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are liking the red for the RC and the knockout. They kind of like the Transformers Prime guys for it. I really like the look of the Magnus Prime mold. Um, I don't have them yet. What do you think about the Magnus Prime mold? I don't, I don't know it. I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Magnus Prime? Do you mean the power of the Primes, like Super Ginrai Magnus Prime mold? Is that what you're talking about, Landon? I like it. I got it as God Ginrai. Um, as we go down here, uh, howdy to you, Cato, my friend. Uh, Nautica? I got the Walgreens US Flyers. Um, I couldn't pass up the Prime stuff. Yeah, I can see that. I was able to get both sets of Titans Return clones as well as Dr. Wu uh, weapons kits. Yeah, they were a great set. The Dr. Wu sets were great for them out of Anti Matrix. Um, I'm here, no fear. That sounds awful close to what Triple R says, Deluxe. Deluxe is probably sitting back with no pants on. Uh, the second of Galactic Odyssey has three silhouettes, Trailbreaker, Sideswipe, and Cliffjumper. We don't know that that's the second, Ken. We know that, that there's pictures of them and that there's a countdown, but we don't know that that's the second set. It might be, though. If so, it'd be interesting. Uh, as we go down here. I hope we're going to see more Prime. Yeah, well, if these sell well, we'll see more Prime. Speaking of Kingdom, what do you think about the arc? Um, I think it's cool. I don't think I'm in for it. It looks like the arc is probably going to be, I said Vector Prime last week. Word is now could be the last Autobot, which is a cool idea. Make the last Autobot the arc. I don't. Here's the thing. When I think of Titans, I think of cities or bases, and we've got them. I feel like now they're just trying to shoehorn something in so that they can sell a big ticket item. Um, unless the price goes down, I don't think I'm in for the arc. I mean, by the time you put tax in 300 bucks for really kind of like, I don't know how usable the arc will be. I like, here's the thing. You're asking me such a hard question. Like, what do I think about the arc? We don't even know if this is for sure yet. It's not even confirmed. We haven't seen anything actually out there. I need to see the price. If it's not cheaper then I'm out because I, I don't have the space. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Titans as it is now. I don't have the space. I don't have the interest in, you know, like I don't know the last Autobot. I he was in the com he was in the last comic or something. I don't know. I I'm eh, I'm indifferent at this point. Could that change? It could. It could. See, I have 20 shark accounts. Now deluxe, come on. Come on. No, I know. I know. Uh, a lot of people though, like you do see it a lot of times like on Facebook and stuff. Somebody's like, I have 33 so far. I remember a guy when the Shark Tacons were out said, I have 33 so far. How many do you have? And people were like, zero. Thanks. You bought it all up. I appreciate that. And like the guy would laugh at him. Like, what a jerk. That's what you know what I mean, right? What do you think about Giza Sword? Uh, okay. So Dragonfly pointed something else out to me, and I have it here in the news, but we're going to cover it now. Uh, apparently, the Nemesis Prime that's coming, we know it was Giza Fangtron. And everybody said, hey, Giza Fangtron is Giza turned into... A Slither Fang repaint. Apparently, that's not the case. Apparently, the Giza sword is in there as Giza, the bird, and Fangtron is separate. So, apparently, he's coming with two minions, evidently. So, if that's the case, cool. I totally dig it. I don't think it's the Giza sword from the Power of the Primes version. I think it's a smaller sized one. So, when he pointed that out, uh, we actually went and we looked on the wiki, and sure enough, when you look at Giza, the bird Giza, it does have a listing there for the uh, Warp Cybertron Nemesis Prime. So it looks like we're actually getting both of them with that Nemesis Prime. Uh, in Fort Man, like, he's he's a bit more expensive, but, like, you're getting Giza, you're getting Bangtron, you're getting a bunch of accessories, you're getting the cab, you're getting the trailer. So, like, there's a lot there. I kind of, I think I kind of get it. I think I kind of understand it, and I kind of dig it. Uh, pit sold out fast. I couldn't order it, but that's okay since I was on the fence about it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, 
I love to see nerd tears. <laughs> oh, that's dark, man. That is so dark. Um, what? Do you think Titans Return will be reissued the Headmasters back to Target Masters? Eh, maybe. They could. I usually go for three. Uh, for, I usually go for three for troop building, unless I had planned custom that I ended up not wanting to do again. Yeah, yeah, three is like a nice number for it, you know. Uh, no, I don't think it is, Ken. I don't think that the Giza is the same. Uh, trivia answer is D. Oh, Kato's getting brave already. We're not even to the trivia. Don't forget that we got an unboxing from uh, Crimson Raptors here too. Uh, man, Kingdom is going to be so good. It is going to be so good, but it's also going to be so expensive. That's the thing, man. I'm selling off my MP stuff and just going. Now, there's an interesting thing. Deluxe just said something very interesting. I'm selling off my MP stuff and just going mainline. A lot of people have said that recently. A lot of people have said that because of all the QC and stuff and the cost that you get with MP, that they're backing out of it. And they're looking at going mainline. I think that's very interesting. A very interesting take to say, especially since people have said, hey, the mainline is like a mini masterpiece. Maybe there's something to that. It's a very interesting take, though. Um, I could get Scourge unless it is a five pack. What? I could get Scourge unless it is a five pack of. No, I'm not getting them. I'm not paying. Oh, expensive for more. Yeah, no. Look, uh, the Scourge. I'm assuming that they're just going to be a Studio Series release. It looks glorious. Um, here's the bottom line. I'm going to get rid of my... Okay, my Titan Return Scourge. I'm thinking I might make that into DevCon. If I can. I'm thinking I might. And I think that the new Scourge is going to be my Scourge. I really, really do. It, 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 the pictures look amazing. Don't, don't ask me about the review. We already went on that touchy subject. No, I didn't see it. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm selling all of my main line and just doing 3P. Interesting. Another interesting take, which I could see because Kato and the lads of the Rejecticons have really gotten into MMC lately. Uh, by the way, my first MMC is Salvia Promenade for last week. I'm still getting used to her, but man, she's beautiful. If the rest of what MMC does is as good as her, man, they do good. They do good work. Um, See, lots of MP Tigatrons have shipped. Uh, he's cute, but I'm stoked for the Voyager. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I haven't. I man, yeah, I'd see Kato there. Deluxe review Tigatron. Go check it out. I certainly will when I get a chance. Honestly, the last two weeks I have not stopped before a good 10, 10 30 night, and my days are starting 6 a.m. It is nuts. I have so much to catch up on. Um, let's see. go down here um do you think that they will redo dragon megatron i hope so that'd be great if they'd redone dragon megatron i'd love that i didn't get combiner wars devastator i wasn't really collecting transformers uh if you can get debbie now i'd do it uh let's see the red is pretty hot garbage so far i only i was only in for red megs but uh what but if his bicep snaps he's getting returned and i'm out why would his bicep snap? I don't know anything about red. Nothing. I'm hoping to get Combiner Wars Blast Off instead of Shuttle to be a Viacon. Interesting. Uh, does NPM Starscream count? Uh, NPM is different. I think the NPMs haven't really been breaking, but the regular just MPs have. Uh, I got the Unite Warriors Devastator. TFCon 2021 will go through. You sure about that, Deluxe? You sure about that? Because I've heard otherwise. There will be a convention next year. I hope you're right, because I've I've been hearing rumblings otherwise. Uh, you've been to two cons in the last couple of weeks. Really? That's surprising me. I wouldn't go to a con now. Let's see, fans, toys, and X-Transbots make a gr uh, great set. Of, they do make a great set of Stunticons. I agree. Um, 2016 was... What? Monkey Year, Beast Wars 20th Anniversary. They recolored Optimus Prime Beast Machines. Yeah, they did, and it didn't sell... Not here, it didn't sell worth a jack. 
Last price I saw for that was down to five bucks and it still wasn't selling. Nobody wanted it because it's not good. Uh, so much more to choose from mainline. I tend to just focus there. That's fair. Um, you can afford MP if you save for it. Uh, don't buy mainline and you can get MP stuff. Yeah, yeah, but MP is not good. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to stick with it. MP is not good. It's really not. Uh, I'm done with MP Beast Wars, getting mainline Beast Wars stuff. Too expensive for Beast Wars MP. Yeah, I mean, you got to pick and choose, man. You got to pick and choose. Uh, hey, JAA, uh, the only MP I have is the KO Soundwave and the Assaultus set, uh, the Zeta. I plan on picking up three of them for my Scourge and Sweeps. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Our president down here holds a convention every day. It's safe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Last Prime. Thoughts on uh, Trans Art Skateboard Gorilla? Never heard of it. No, nothing about it. Uh, but I have handled some Trans Art stuff. I would say it looks great. I would say the plastic might feel a little thinner than I'd like if I was to guess, uh, but I would assume that it looks tremendous because their Optimus Primal looked tremendous. He was missing a lot of the features and gimmicks. The plastic is a little eh. I did review that one. I haven't seen the Skateboard Gorilla, but I got a funny feeling that it looks splendid. Uh, probably works fine. It's probably a bit smaller than you'd like, and the plastic might be a bit thinner than you'd like. Not bad, just a bit thinner. Gigawatt is on Walmart for pre-order. I saw the eh. Not, I couldn't I couldn't be less interested in Gigawatt, to be honest with you. If I see him in store on sale, I'll get him. But that's the only way I'm getting him. In my opinion, MP is trash uh, from all the QC problems. Hey, Tommy, happy to see you here. So it's opinions all over the place tonight, man. Okay, going down through here to get this out of the way so that we can get to the fun stuff, which is the unboxing. The Hall of Fame was announced. The Hall of Fame was announced. And I thought it was great. Toy of the Year Skylinks. Boom. Yup. I agree with it 100%. Skylinks is amazing. The character Knockout, it's nice to see Transformers Prime getting a bit of love. It's nice to see Knockout getting a bit of love. And the human entrant, Greg Berger. I thought Greg was already in there long, so long overdue. I'm so happy to see him in there as well. We saw more of the new MP Starscream, and I think the proportions look better. Though he does look a little bulb bubbly and bulbous. Um, the plane looks good. It's interesting the way the robot is. It's more rounded in places than I would have expected, but I think the proportions are looking better than the initial pictures when I thought the lower legs were too big. I think that it's looking much better. Uh, what else do we have? Um, PulseCon. PulseCon gave us some uh, new G.I. Joe listings. I think that the Zartan is astonishingly good. Firefly as well as... Pretty amazing. The Cobra Trooper is good. I think the other one is a... Is it a Viper? I think it's a Viper. Uh, that looks really good as well. We saw the next wave of the three and a quarter, or sorry, three and three quarter line. That's what I'm in for. Oh, man, the Roadblock, but I don't like the head sculpt. I don't like that stylized head sculpt, but give me a Roadblock. Give me a Scarlet, man. I'm really in for Scarlet and Destro. The only one I have is from the movie. I, I need a proper Destro, so I'm in for it. Absolutely in for it. Uh, then we get to Transformers. We saw Optimus Primal. He is molded beautifully. Very reminiscent of his original offering with some better articulation. I assume we don't have the spring-loaded arms gimmick. Super detailed. Uh, I think that his monkey mode, I hope that his monkey mode will be a little more articulated. We'll see. We'll see. But he, he looks very promising. Uh, we also had... What else did we also have here? Um, Beast Wars Megatron, he is art. I have him pre ordered. He will replace my Beast Wars Megatron. He looks more slender than I thought he was going to be, but you know what? I'm cool with it because he looks astonishingly, astonishingly, astonishingly good. Vertebrake is a cool fossilizer. We got another little alligator one. Apparently, we now know that. Uh, what is the guy's name? If I can find it here. Um, uh, Rack tonight or Rack Rackonet? I don't know how to say his name. Apparently, he's different from Paleo Trex. There's uh, another one that is on Optimus. That is Sabertooth. Is the guy Optimus is wearing? Apparently, 
What else we have here? The Cheetor is the Cheetor. It needs paint. It's fine, but it needs paint. Not in cat mode. In cat mode, he's splendid, but it needs paint otherwise. Um, Black Arachnia, she looks good. I want to paint the legs. Rat Trap, I'm not sold on. Warpath, I'm not sold on yet. Uh, the Cyclonus, I have pre-ordered. The face, apparently, according to Crimson Raptors, the face is from the, the, the way he looked in the killing jar. I went back and I looked at it, and I'm like, the face still doesn't look like that to me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then we had uh, the poster. Of course, that brings us to the arc that was mentioned earlier. Might be the last Autobot. I don't think I'm in for another Titan. I said that Scorponok my swan song. Could I change my mind? Yes. Do I expect to change my mind? No. We'll see, though. We'll see. It's happened before. We saw a claw for Beast Wars Scorponok. I done a massive custom a little while ago. Uh, Bacon from T Formers helped me with that as well. Uh, Polar Claw, Polar Claw, we saw, which is cool but weird. Why would you kind of include Polar Claw? Polar Claw, but I'm not going to complain about it. Gears Offer, we saw great. Galvatron, we've seen. Uh, what else do we have here? Inferno Tracks, Tracks. I'm totally in for. Happy to see as, as well. The Magnus, if the mold looks like the art, that Magnus is going to be tremendous. And we're also, though everybody knows Core Optimus Prime, there's also a leader class, because I saw the listing myself next to uh, Beast Wars Megatron. There's also a leader class Optimus Prime. I assume it will be kind of like with uh, Astro Train, it will be a re-release of the Earthrise, I assume. We'll see. We'll see as time goes on, but that's what I'm assuming. And I already talked about the price going up here to $32.99, which brings us over to this side. Uh, we already talked about DNA Designs. That's going to be tremendous. I can't afford it right now, but it's going to be tremendous. We Make Works has a helicopter waspinator. It's really weird, but it looks cool. It seems to be about deluxe size, I think. Uh, if you like a stylized waspinator that turns into a helicopter, it might be for you. Dreamstar Toys showed their very stylized, but very hefty and very good-looking G1 Superion. I, I, I'd like to see the colors, because just looking at the great prototypes, if you didn't tell me that it was Superion, I never in a billion years would have guessed that that's what it was. But with the colors, maybe I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, I see it now. It looks like it will be high-end. It looks like it will be tremendous. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know this company, so we'll see. Trojan Horse, another company that we don't know, is putting out a Dinobot that apparently turns into a Buffalo vehicle. If you don't know what a Buffalo vehicle is, it is the thing that Bone Crusher turned into from the 2007 movie. And it is Beast Wars Dinobot, but with that sort of vehicle alt mode. Again, we've only seen a prototype, uncolored, weird, but interesting. Uh, give credit where credit is due. Then we get to the last piece of news, which is some news about Scorponok. I hope that all of you have gotten your Scorponoks because word is that production has stopped. They have discontinued Scorponok. Uh, I know of a couple of stores that have pre-orders. I'm going to say pre-orders in like for four or 500 Scorponoks. And apparently they're not even sure if those are going to get filled. I think that this is a di direct relation to the fact that Hasbro is trying to make up an entire year's worth of releases without pushing into the next year. And because everything was closed down, they're trying to do it all now in about two or three months so that by December, they're back online with Kingdom and everything was released because everything has street dates and whatnot of September 1st and October 1st. I've heard that uh apparently the um scorponok is now discontinued whatever's out there is apparently what's out there take that with a grain of salt but i do know that at least in one store that when they inquired about the listing ending because the store said that we're not going to be getting any more like if, if customers ask we're not going to be getting any more and Apparently, they were the reason that was cited was because Hasbro, Hasbro themselves discontinued it. I don't know. It seems very peculiar. Very peculiar. So it'll be interesting to see if that's actually fact. But I don't know, man. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. But something to be aware of if you were thinking, hey, I'll wait and get it five months from now. I don't think I would wait. I really don't think I would wait. Uh, let's go back up here a bit. That's it for the news, by the way. All we have now is the trivia and the unboxing. We're out. 
Uh, hey, Chris, happy to see you. I got to go up here a bit, though. Got to go up here a bit and see where it was that because you guys are chatted tonight, but I'm trying to get through stuff. And I apologize, guys, for missing stuff. Uh, let's see. I hope Rodimus Prime gets what? Gig what? Oh, I hope what? Rodimus Primal gets gig what? I don't even know what you're saying, Blue. Uh, they do a three-pack of KO Sharktacons from the TR. Uh, they have more paint and parts. Yes, there is a KO of that. Might be Mick Fans Toys. I'm not sure who done it, but there is a KO of that. If you can find it, it's hard to find now. Um, as we go down here. Walmart has a terrible pre-order system. Amazon is better. Honestly, I don't know. I've never pre-ordered from Walmart. Uh, glad Knockout got... Yeah, I'm glad Knockout got in there, too. And Greg, as well. The Hall of Fame vote for the character was specifically voting for the best character from Prime. Uh, who would you have voted for, Dennis? Best character from Prime? Who would I have voted for? Um, I don't know, man. Probably Knockout. Honestly, I really like Knockout. I'm a big fan of him. Uh... I'm going to pick up Thundercracker. Yeah, he's your boy. He's my favorite figure. NPM Starscream is my favorite figure in my collection so far. Well, you know what? You're a movie buff, so I can totally understand that. Um, Prime does need some love, Jay. I, I agree with you. Let's see. Skylinks. Barely used. Knockout. Uh, knocked out of the park. Congrats to Grimlock. Yeah, absolutely. Pure my Optimus Primal from Amazon. So pumped. Uh, the only thing that might save MP is the train bots. I agree. Yeah, and then Zeta came along with theirs. I think that that's... <laughs> Poor Zeta. We'll see. Let's see about Zeta. Hey, Dun Dun. Do you ever think they'll do some movie G1 uh, G.I. Joe figures? They might. I don't know. I like... Here's the thing. They might. I mean, a globulus would be cool, I guess. You know, uh, I'll snaked out Cobra Commander, maybe. You know, maybe. I don't know. They could, Roy. I'd be interested to see that. Uh, Optimus Primal looks good, but his monkey mode looks weird to me. Uh, the T Rex mode is amazing, says Fish Strength. I agree. The T Rex mode is amazing. I'm still getting him, though. Jillian is still going to get Primal. Beast Wars mainline stuff. Uh, Hey, Chris. I think I said that before, though. Yeah, he does have a lot kind of hanging. Uh, like a, it's, it's like his gorilla mode has a big gut or something event progenitor. Uh, can we recreate King Kong versus a T-Rex? Yeah, we can. The only thing that bothers me about the Kingdom Megatron is his backpack. I think he's going to have one anyway. I don't know. We'll see how it works out, but I, I'm in for it. I'm scared. What? I'm scared of Black Arachne more? I don't know why you'd be scared of her. Only disappointment with ER Megatron. No rubber dock. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day. Rumor is Earthrise Warpath will be repainted white into a slammer. I could see him being a slammer. I really could. And I think the Warpath is great, but like I'm comparing it to the earlier generations. And I think that is near on a perfect Transformer. This Warpath has huge, pardon the pun because of his tread feet, but he has huge shoes to follow. And I mean huge. Um, you know what the funny part is? I don't remember this rubber duck. I don't remember ever seeing it. I don't remember the episode where he's brushing the teeth of his dinosaur. I don't remember any of this little stuff. I have zero recollection of any. I know it, it happened, but I don't, I don't remember any of it. Is there a third party Tiger Hawk coming? Not that I know of, but... I, I feel like one of the fossilizers almost looked like Tiger Hawk in the picture that we saw, which was weird because there was an air razor in there too. I don't know, but I think we may see Tiger Hawk eventually. Uh, got a phone call. Uh, no, you didn't miss the question. That'll be up next. Don't see Warpath as a minibot. He is though. Like you might not see him as a minibot, Jillian, but he is. It's just he's a bigger minibot. Uh, which does make him closer to regular size, which is why I'm cool with the deluxe, which is why I'm cool with this one being a deluxe, honestly. Um, let's see, not good. I ordered the Pit of Judgment. 
off Hasbro Pulse. I can see the charge on my card, but Pulse doesn't have any order information on their site. Wow, DW, that is not good. I agree. Again, much like HasLab, I don't agree with Pulse. I think as Hasbro is a manufacturer, they should stay completely out of retail. That's not their forte, and they're not good at it, and their customer service is trash. Uh, I can't remember their name right now, but the art artist who came up with the helicopter waspinator design is one of my favorites. Their art is so great. Okay. I didn't know it was based on art. Uh, I see Warpath uh, as his FOC version or DOTM game. I was Warpath in those. I don't, wouldn't even know. I see him as the cartoon guy going blam, kazowie, pow, that guy. Buffalo Donobot is by the same artist. Oh, well, then that makes sense. I don't want Scorpinox, Starscream wife in background. Yeah, she's kicking around in the background. Uh, yeah, Star, he is amazing. I'm so glad I got mine as well. Let's see. Before they reveal Kingdom Primal and Megs, I didn't think they would look that good. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, but looks are only part of it. Let's see how well they function. Like, everybody gets taken in by the looks. But if they function like trash, that'll ruin it. We've seen things look good before, but not work well, right? I'm interested in the new Lemon Tree Transformers third-party company. Uh... Yeah, the um, shockwave that turns to the nemesis is pretty cool at Manti Matrix. Target has apparently started clearancing Scorpinox. Wow. Wow. Like, already? Really? That's crazy. Do you think that they will reduce Scorpin... What? Do you think they will re reduce Scorpinox repaint? Uh, like a Black Zarek? I think Japan will. I don't think they will here, but I think Japan will. Uh, Tubi is great for binge watching Transformers. I, I have all the box sets, so I just watch my box sets. Okay, all right. So the trivia, you guys ready? You guys ready for the trivia? Hey, Starscream wife, are you doing trivia tonight? She's not listening. Okay, trivia. Here we go. This is an interesting one, of course, from Dragonfly. Here we go. What does the transformation super cog not? cog super cog do the transformation super cog does it a allow transformers to steal another's transformation does it b uh transforms autobots into decepticons does it c grant new transformations and combinations or does it d give transformers uh the general ability to transform so Transformation Super Cog. Super Cog. Does it allow a Transformer to steal another's transformation? Does it turn Autobots into Decepticons? Does it um, grant new Transformer, or sorry, new transformations and combinations? Or does it give Transformers the general ability to transform it all? C. Energon series? C, 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 I think C, C, everybody's saying C, everybody's saying C. Uh, I don't know this one. I have no idea where the supercar comes from, but I will say C. The answer is C. Word is, rumor is. And again, I'm saying rumor, the more I hear it, though, the more I see things fitting together. Rumor is that the reason the arc will be able to transform into the last Autobot is because it will be given the transformation super cog, which will allow it to transform and it will reveal itself as the last Autobot. Apparently that's the rumor going around. Will it happen? I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Don't forget that tomorrow we have the top 10 dumbest transformers coming up. That's going to be a fun one. And it's time for the unboxing. And then we can get out of here, man. Time for the unboxing. So first things first from Andy B collectibles, friend of the channel. I have two things that are, are weird. I've never had them. He got two Mighty Mugs. One, of course, is Starscream. This is Starscream Wife's. And mine is Optimus Prime. And what I didn't know is that if you push it on the head, like the faces change. And like now he just looks angry. Optimus looks angry. And I don't even know what this is. It's it's like he caught himself in a zipper, you know. He slammed the door on his finger, something like that. He uh I don't know. Somebody stapled his hand to the desk. You know, uh, I don't. I don't know that one. Uh, and then we have Starscream, who he has this like I'm just here being Starscream face, or oh, he has this. What are you talking about? 
or he has this, you know, oh, I don't think that I should have bought that sushi from that gas station. It wasn't very good. You know, it's like, I don't know. They're weird. I appreciate him giving it. Like, he always gets these quirky little, like, dollar story type of things. Now, this is from Crimson Raptors. This here, this box is from Crimson Raptors. I'm going to just see what you guys said here before we get into it. We're about to get into it. He told me there's a letter. I do have the box cut open. He asked me not to open it. So we're going to see. We're going to see here now. We're going to see here now. Let's let's see what you guys said going down here. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. You're right. It does make sense, Bascani. Uh, what about the Earth? Oh, the Earthrise trailer. Oh, yeah, the Earthrise trailer. So I think the Earthrise trailer. I'm, thanks for reminding me, Jillian. I don't know how I missed that in the news there. The Earthrise trailer. Okay, so Double Dealer is going to be leader of the mercenaries. And we know that the Coneheads are going to be mercenaries. I think that's very interesting. We know Bug Bite is going to appear. I think that that's great. Um, I don't know what planet necessarily the Ark lands on. Is it Earth? Uh, is it Earth? I don't, I don't know. It, I'm pretty certain that the last image we see is the quintesson judge we see the red eyes that are shaped like the face of death and a little bit of the green i don't know how i feel about red eyes though like the judge's eyes are just black dead black eyeless hole sockets um but i think that that's a quintesson judge I i'm some people said when Siege was done that's it we're done with cybertron it's like we're definitely not done with cybertron all of the decepticons are still there we're 100% not done with Cybertron. It's going to be very interesting to see how the planet ends up getting saved, if it gets saved in Earthrise. Here's the thing. When I watch Siege and I get to like the end of it, I think to myself, why did Optimus throw... Like, I don't even know why Optimus threw the Allspark op. The only thing I could see is the reason that he did it was to keep it out of Megatron's possession, because if it fell into Megatron's possession, then the Autobots were all going to end up in servitude to the Decepticons and become Decepticons. So, like, I think he'd done it out of sheer desperation. Remember, Optimus is more of a new leader. He's not the experienced leader that we all know. So he made a mistake, and now he's got to rectify that mistake. That's the way I think Earthrise is going to be, like, Optimus trying to rectify his mistake. I think a lot of Autobots are going to kind of even question Optimus, like, why did you do that? Why? The planet is going to die now because of you. I even think Alita, who now on Cybertron is leading the Autobots, I think she's even going to question it. I think that we're going to see a lot of growth in Optimus toward being the leader that we know him to be. I think he's going to learn a lot of harsh lessons along the way in Earthrise. That's what I'm predicting, but we'll see. Um, Rekgar shouldn't be on, on the list. Rekgar shouldn't be on what list? I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, number one of the dumbest Transformers, me. No, you're not. Rekka, Rekka, what? Um, I love initial reactions. Uh, TFA Blit Blitzwing gimmick. I don't. I don't know why you're saying this stuff, Blue. I'm missing something. I'm missing a conversation here. Should be 10 episodes, though, not six. I agree. Should be 10 episodes, not six. I don't even know if it's six. I don't know how long Earthrise is going to be. Uh, Coneheads had a bounty on them in G1. No, they didn't. Coneheads never had a bounty on them in G1. What are you talking about? Where do you get this stuff? Uh, does the Earthrise trailer lack Earth? <laughs> I'm wondering same thing, Razor Bear. Uh, I like that exhaust head is like... Yeah, that was weird. Exhaust head isn't exhaust head. It's just Wheeljack's head. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, it makes him look like an evil clone of... But he's not an evil clone of Wheeljack. He, he's actually, I think, supposed to be older than Wheeljack. Um, I think Cyberverse had red-eyed Quince. Yeah, they may have. Maybe. But Cyberverse Quince were weird, too. Wrecker is not a smart transformer. Not a, no, no. He's not. The song Dare to be Stupid is associated with Wrecker. He knows how to fix things, sure. But the guy's made of junk and he can't form a proper sentence. He just knows how to talk to me. He's not even intelligent enough to be able to form proper sentences. No, Blue, he is not smart. Not by a lot. That's like some people said, Lognaut is smart. Oh, he's not. His name is Lognaut because he's a Lognaut. 
His intelligence on the RTS, if you look at stats, is three. He's not smart. No, he's not. I find it interesting the Coneheads are mercenaries. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, so was Megatron, wouldn't get it, and Shockwave use use it to turn them all. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I think he's getting DevCon a bounty hunter, tracking down cut. It'd be cool if DevCon came up. I'd love that. Um, yeah, he is blind loyalty. Absolutely, he's blind loyalty. But he's also dumb as a stump. Uh, how did Rekgar revive Ultra Magnus? Rekgar didn't revive Ultra Magnus. A ton of Junkions rebuilt them because they know how to put junk back together. That's what they know how to do. They know how to put junk back together. The guys can't even clean up their planet. Um, Rekgar speaking TV doesn't exactly mean he's not smart, though animated isn't smart. That's true. It doesn't mean he's not smart, but it's highly likely because he can't develop linguistic skills beyond that so he's probably not it's a good it's a good chance that it is a measure of his intellect but anyway i'm not going to get into the debate about it record is not smart end of story um did he make the countdown i don't know we'll see you'll find out tomorrow elita one thinks that prime is dead remember does she i don't know does she think he's dead i have no idea i watched the i watched the I, i'm gonna be honest with you i watched the trailer in passing once i'm not a trailer guy bring me the show tell me when the show is releasing then i'll get interested uh, Magnus is drunk then. Magnus, what? He's not, it's not that Magnus is, oh, you guys kill me. It's not that Magnus is junk. They just took all of his parts and rebuilt him. But they themselves are built out of junk. Why is this such a, why is this so complicated? Man, oh man, you guys kill me. You guys slay me, man. Um, Battlefield Medic, can I think that's a stretch. Battlefield Medic? That's a stretch. Okay, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. We'll see how the votes fall tomorrow. There were, I'll tell you now, 600. 600 people voted this round. I was late getting it up. We'll see how the votes fell. If you didn't vote, keep your yap trapped. Okay, so first, first thing here. I don't, it's been a long day. It's been a long, it's been a long life. Okay, so there's a letter here first from Crimson. Letter here. For, we're going to read our letter first. Man, we're going long here. I did not want this to be long tonight, but it's long. I'm too tired for this. Um, it says, hey, Dennis Gapot, I have watched your uh, recent Gapot Goes Live when you got the toy hack stickers for a particular figure. I got many toy hack stickers thanks to events, Event Progenitor. Um, you were on the fence. Oh, a character I was on the fence about. Okay, I don't know which one it was, but okay. Uh, I figured, what better figure to send your way than one uh, of the bravest and toughest Autobots out there? Oh, dear. Uh, according to Rekgar, he comes with a 90-day uh, warranty uh, with no obligation. Wow. Wow, 90-day warranty. Okay. Um, honestly, I've been trying to find something uh, to give back to you you guys give back, man, just by being part of the community, man. Just by being here and part of the community, you know? Um, I, that's what that's what I try to do, you know? Uh, if I something to give back to you, if only as a small token of appreciation. However, you kept finding all of the Walmart-exclusive Netflix Siege figures, and yet they uh, slipped out on... Or, sorry, they skipped out on uh, Siege Waves for you. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. The Netflix stuff. Is, yeah. Yeah. That was rough. Uh, I hope Earthrise Cliff Jumper. Oh, oh, I think I know where we're going with this. It is fun to animate if you want to use him. Again, I really appreciate all of the time, work and effort uh, that you have bought to the Transformers YouTube community for all of these years. And I hope uh, you will continue to do so for many more to come. Keep up your great work. Um, let's see, your fellow stop motion animator. And of course, if you haven't checked out Crimson's stop motions, check it out. He is, last I knew, he's still part of Age of Swag Wave. So go and check it out. He's been doing some really fun work. Really fun work. Um, so, so thanks. Uh, I can't wait to see more Universal Collision. I'm working on... When I do the season finale, I want to do episodes 12 and 13 at the same time. It's going to be a double season finale. Uh, very close together. Maybe not the exact same day, but very close together. Okay, so in here, I think we know what this is going to be now. I think we know what this is going to be. I, I haven't got gotten the guy. Is it? 
Is it? Is it? Yay. Yay. I didn't get the lad, but it's a jumper. Um, when I got the, the toy hack set, I said, you know, if I find the guy, honestly, thank you very much, Crimson. If I find the guy on sale, maybe I'll pick him up since I got the toy hacks. Luckily, I can fix one of the things that really bothered me about this guy, which is the lacking Autobot symbol on his chest and then the one on his hood. And now I can remedy that. Um, you know what? We will be taking a look at this guy. I've already done the review on him, but we're going to take a uh, look at him like with fresh eyes because we're going to end up reviewing the toy hack stickers on this lad. So thank you so very much, Crimson. I, I am beyond humbled. I very, very, very much appreciate it. Um, you know what? People are far too kind to me, man. Far, 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 far too kind. Red Bumblebee. Yeah, Red Bumblebee. Uh, Roy says, thank you for chatting. Honestly, no, it's my pleasure. I come in here because I want to spend time with the community. I want to spend time with you guys. I I, I really do. Um, funny you kept talking about Rekgar. It is funny I kept talking about Rekgar. Uh, can you help me find uh, Devastator CW? Roy, here's what I can tell you. You're going to want to keep checking Amazon. Word is that CW Devastator is going to be Amazon exclusive 2020, January 2021. So I would start looking probably within the next month. Honestly, I would start looking. I bet you, I bet you that you're going to see uh, the pre-orders go up soon. I really do. Uh, I can just see the junkions whistling the tune. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, three uh, and it's mainly that they were all definitively close to one another when they happened. Uh, CW Devastator is getting delayed, it is to January. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope I've been some help. I hope this has been fun. We've been out here a long time, but we had a lot to talk about with PulseCon. It was a blast. Some very interesting things, some ones that I, I need to see more on, man. The price is going up. That's going to be a killer. That's going to be a killer. Not going to lie. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. We'll do the countdown tomorrow. You can complain about Rekgar all you like then. If he even makes it, we'll see how it goes. I appreciate you coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, don't forget that you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button. Become a YouTube member right here. Right here, man. Uh... Check out all my social media links. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around. Have some fun with us. We do a ton of stuff around here. Always looking to expand and do other things as well. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights, right now, at the stop motion premieres, or the old-fashioned way, inside the videos.